One of the most common questions we get from players at the moment is, how do we defend a smash and when do we know to run forward? So in this video, we're gonna break down three points and we're gonna give you three tips on how you can decide whether you need to run forward and when you actually need to move in order to get into a good position so you know for your games. So the first tip is to look at who is going to run and when. And let's use an example now of Galan and LeBron against Alex Ruiz and Momo. And they are playing in Milan at the moment from a recent tournament. And the situation, the ball is in this corner here with Momo and the lob has gone up from that corner. It goes up to LeBron and LeBron is coming back. You can see here, but Momo is, is just off screen here. He's with his back against the glass and his partner, Alex, knows that his back is against the glass. He knows the ball is coming to LeBron. And so you can see that he's already making his moves to come forward up the court here. And this is a situation to understand that if your partner is the one who has hit the lob and he has his back against the glass, it allows you the space in order to hit. And if we look here at LeBron having hit this smash now and it's on his racket, the ball is here on the racket of LeBron and look where Alex is. Yeah. Momo is still off screen because he's just recovered a defensive lob. He's out of position. He's with his back against the glass. So if that is the situation, you need to understand that the partner is the one to run forward because they've got so much more time. And particularly when you're playing against a smasher as good as LeBron, which I understand that most players are not, but even in your current situation, if your partner is the one against the glass and there's a short lob, you see they're gonna be aggressive, then you are the one who wants to be moving forward. And you can see here that Alex ends up being in a great position. Now, the ball is actually blocked by Momo and Alex now has come forward into this position and normally Galan would, would finish this ball um, by bringing it back to his own side. As a side note, this is a really risky time for amateur players to go for this smash when one of the players is already very close to net. At this level, it's slightly different because normally they would finish the point even in that situation. And here Galan is a little bit unlucky or inaccurate because it comes off the fence and Alex is able to run outside and finish that point. But the idea of this tip or this exercise here is to say that if the player is with their back against the glass, it should be the partner's responsibility to make a few steps forward and to come and to try and take that ball if your opponents are looking like they're gonna hit an aggressive smash. So our second tip is understand the game situation and your lob. If your lob is short, or you're in a situation where your opponent is going for lots of smashes or they have the potential to go for lots of smashes, then be prepared to run forward. In this situation and at this level, against LeBron and Galan, they are so good at smashing that even if it's quite a good lob, you have to be prepared to run forward. And that's what we're going to see now. This one is slightly different. You see Galan serving here, comes into this corner here, and. Now, off this lob ball, when Momo's at the back, it's not quite the same as the previous point because he doesn't have his back pressed against the wall. And Alex is in a similar position on this side of the court. So they're in a slightly better defensive position against two right-handers now. So if they are neutral and they're in a line like this, it probably is the responsibility of the left court player to be running forward because that will be the side that the ball goes out. It is possible to come out on this side, but it's unusual and therefore the left court player would be the one to move forward. And you can see here that Momo hits that ball and he's judging his lob. They're making a couple of steps forward. Alex is also coming forward into this situation. And even though the lob is not bad, like you're, you're looking at LeBron hitting that, falling back, he's gonna fall back behind that service line. These guys know that he has the potential to go out. So this is talking about knowing your opponent, knowing the depth of the lob, and look at where they are already. He has just contacted, the ball is in this position here they are already three or four steps from their backcourt position. Now, what you're gonna see here is, is perfect running out from Momo. And as soon as he sees that LeBron has hit that, then he is quickly out the door. And you can see that Momo has run in this line here and he's now here. And you can see Alex has come forward and he's now here to cover should that ball hit the fence. But the point of this video, and you can see Momo nicely finishes that off and a man of his talent, um, you know, that, that was a relatively easy ball for him to finish. But the idea of this is to anticipate the type of lob that you're 
hitting, to know whether they're going to be aggressive, understand your opponent and the game situation. And if those two things align and it's a potential possibility for them to be aggressive, then you can see already start making your moves. Make two or three steps as soon as you feel like, you know, you're getting into that situation. And our third tip is commit. This is one of the biggest things that amateur players do not do is they see the opponent smashing, they take one or two small steps in, then they pause and wait and watch, and then they are never able to get into that position. So our third tip is to commit. As soon as you see your opponent commit, you commit at the same time. And we're gonna use an example here. Uh, we've got Paquito here in bottom left and he's hitting the lob to Cuello. And again, look, he's quite far back. He's, he's almost right on that, on that glass. And everything that we said in the last two tips, he's knowing his opponent, he's hitting a lob to Cuello, one of the biggest smashes in the game. He's identified that that lob is potentially going a little bit short or it's gonna be an attacking situation for him. And now let's, let's watch as Paquito runs forward and look at him, he's getting into position and Cuello is contacting now. Here's the contact and you can see that Paquito has already moved to this position here. He's already between the second and third post on the fence. So he's basically saying to himself, right, you know, this is the option. I have the ability to come back here if he hits a fake, but he's seeing that he is committed and now watch as he sprints forward to get into a position here. And he, and he is able to be on that net position because he's already gone half the way here and then he's moved that distance pretty quickly to time the jump to finish the point. Yeah, so as an example to recreational and amateur players, when they know that their opponent is going to smash, they move or, or they, they see the situation, they take a few steps forward and when they get into a situation where they know their opponent has gone for it, they really make a beeline to where the ball is going to be to finish that point off. So the, the key to that is commit as they commit. Now we've taken an example with the best smashes in the game, but the same applies to the ladies game, the same applies at the amateur and recreational level. And the way I look at this is if the best smashes in the world, the most dangerous smashers are hitting these smashes and we look at the defense of those smashes, then we can say to ourselves, it should be easier for us at our level. So the three tips that we really focused on were understanding who is running. If you are the one with your back against the glass or, or you are on the left side, then it's more likely to go to you. Obviously the exception there is a left-handed smashing. Then we're gonna say, right, the second tip is understanding the game situation and the depth of the lob. And then the third tip is committing. So you do a small commitment when you think it could be a possibility. And as soon as you see them commit with their body, then you are committing fully to getting forward. And if you can do those three tips, it will help you defend those smashes. Now. Up in this corner, I'm going to put a video about how you can actually get more power on your smash so that you are the one doing the smashing and you can hopefully finish those points.